Sherry Chandler is suing her grandson's ex-girlfriend, 22-year-old Bridget Butters, for an unpaid loan to bail her grandson out of jail. Ms. Chandler, it is your claim that the defendant who has a baby and your grandson is the father of that baby. Yes, ma'am. And he got arrested. And it is your claim that the defendant called you to borrow $1,000 towards his bail, which you gave to her to bail your grandson out of jail. Yes, ma'am. And you're complaining that she doesn't let you see your great-grandchild. I can't decide that case. That has nothing to do with me. If you want to exercise grandparent visitation, you have to go to family court, file a petition if you're allowed to do that in your jurisdiction, and file for visitation. I understand. Now, Miss Butters doesn't live with your grandson, and he doesn't live with her. He also has other children. Yes, ma'am. With other ladies. How many other children does he have? One. He has another daughter. And he doesn't live with either of those two people? Not anymore. How old is he? 22. I wouldn't be suing anybody. I would be after him if I were I... you, if you have any control over him whatsoever. I don't have any control over him. He's grown. Then even if I believe that you loaned the defendant $1,000 to help bail him out, why would I believe that you would do that? Because they wanted him out. Why would they want him out? Why would she want him out? He doesn't live with her. He's 22 years old. There's no question in my mind that he doesn't support this baby. No question. I mean, is the other child that he has older or younger than your child? Older. Older. How much older? Four months. Four months. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Hmm. Yeah, that would be you. <laughs> he, he's an idiot. He's 22 mm -hmm. years old. He's 21 years old. He's 20 years old. He doesn't know that there are other parts of his body that he can think with. Exactly. <laughs> you want to tell me a story? I have other cases to do today. This one is not impressing me. Okay. Well, Richard called me and asked me to borrow $1,000 until she get our income tax check because they both wanted him out of jail to see who he was going to be with. I, that part I don't care about. Well, then, if you're a smart lady, where did you get the $1,000 from? Why because... Would, where would you get $1,000 from for some stupid act? Like somebody said to you, would you take out $1,000 out of your bank and see how fast the rainstorm can get it down the sewer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you're telling me, yeah. that she and the mother of the other child wanted him out of jail to see which one he picked. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what happens. Good job. Huh. That's what happened. But what? I was stupid because I did a title loan. A title loan? Yes. That's how I got the $1,000. And like I told Bridget, I'm a once-a-month income person. I don't have the money, but I did this because... They wanted for... They... they wanted him to be able to be out to make a choice. Yes. <laughs> That's what they wanted. And by me doing this, I do it, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for my great-grandbabies. I love them to death. And then after I do this, then I don't get my money back. And I told them, That's what I, I need to pay my bills. And I have it all here in Texas where she promised to give me my money back. And that's what I wanted. And then she take the baby away from me. I couldn't see the baby. I would bought her a dress for Easter. I bought both of them dresses for Easter to take them to church because I wanted them to be with me. And then she takes the baby away from me, won't bring the baby over. I can't bond with a I can't, I can't, I can't even see her. Miss Chandler, what am I going to tell you?